everyone. Welcome back. Uh, these are the five things that I did when renovating my RV that others might not do. Uh, we're starting the tour here, looking at the, toward the back, obviously, my wonderful picture window. I guess let's make this six things because I just realized I took out all the window coverings. <laughs> and most people would not do that. They'd be like, oh my God, window coverings, privacy. Well, it turned out like, like where I was parked, privacy is not an issue right now. And I did uh, put a curtain back in the bedroom here um, so I can get some privacy in the bedroom. Uh, sun blocking was not an issue for me. I kind of like to wake up with the sun or wake up with the light, which is hell in the winter, of course, but um, I did take out all the window coverings. Another thing that I did that most people wouldn't do is there were two big chairs in this area and like big chairs, like comfy big chairs that swiveled. And in the middle was an end table. And it turned out the end table was hiding where the cord, uh, the your power cord goes, but we made a little box under there, which I'll show you in a different video. And um, I took out those chairs because I wanted to put my desk there. I quilt there, I work there, and look at that view. I mean, my God, that's my view. So I wanted to just, I wanted to really enjoy that fully, okay? So I took out these two big chairs. I also took out, which other people would not do, the dinette. So obviously there was this big dinette here, um, you know, your average dinette. And you can kind of see that like raised, you see that raised platform back there? That's covering the wheel well, so we just covered it with flooring. But I took out this dinette because I needed more room for the dogs. And in my case, two dog beds and under there is this vibrational thing called the TheraPlate, which we can't live without, we love that thing. So um, I definitely pulled out the dinette for the dogs. Another thing that I did that other people would not do is I put a coat hat, coat rack over a window. There's my dogs out there. Um, I put this coat rack over a window and because it has another window like on this side, okay, there's two of them. And of course, heresy, never cover a window, but I'm fortunate enough that I've got a lot of windows in here, have a lot of light. And part of it was an artistic decision in that the other place for the coats were going to be over here. And I wanted to look at that instead. So most people would have put the coat rack there, but I wanted to put that, that uh, photograph there instead. All right. Uh, the other thing that most people would not do is, um, you know, we added baseboard all the way around. And that was partly practical, as I've said in another video. But with the dogs... That's their water bowl and there's a food bowl that goes there. And we carried that, we actually used for the baseboard shiplap. And so I carried that shiplap up the wall. So I guess without the bowls there, it probably looks strange, but with the bowls there, you can understand, especially if you have dogs, that when they're drinking water or eating food, it's going all over the walls. And I didn't want to ruin my beautiful, fabulous, love it long time um, wallpaper. We're going into the bathroom now for the last thing that I did that I'm really happy I did that others might not take the time to do. And that is behind the toilet, very glamorous. So in changing out the toilet, I watched a great video where someone installed this piece of flex pipe onto their pecs, as you can see, just clicks in. But the brilliance is, is you can turn off your water right here, just with this knob, right? Or this lever. So I can turn my water off. So if I'm ever having a problem in the toilet, if it gets full, if you want to clean it with one of those whirly gigs, you don't want to keep adding water while you've got it open, but you want the water on in the rest of your RV, adding this flex hose to your pecs and then giving yourself a shut off valve is basically what I did. Freaking genius. So thank you to the guy who showed me that trick uh, because I used it. He actually was uh, doing an install of a new toilet in a new RV and he added that he says he adds that to all of his installs so those are five things that I did to my RV renovation that most people wouldn't do but I'm really glad I did them hope that inspires you